Hey folks, today we have a keyboard video. Yes, another one. I've been pumping these out like crazy. I've been in a real keyboard buying mood. So, excuse my nasally voice, I'm getting over the flu. So, But, you know, I wanted to make this video anyway because this keyboard is exciting to me. It's a very different uh, keyboard, very unique, and I'd just like to get right into it. This is the Cooler Master CM Storm Nova Touch TKL with hybrid capacitive switches. What that means is it's a uh, it's a Cooler Master CM Storm keyboard with top array key switches. And uh that's something that just hasn't been done. I got this for 175 on Newegg. While most of the top array key keyboard uh, offerings are up in the 200 plus range. Although you can get the Topre Type Heaven for about $150. That's the cheaper one. I got that for even cheaper. So this is a next step up, and you actually get a lot for your money. So I think we should dig right into it. It's called the Nova Touch TKL, which I think is a pretty nice name. They actually went out of their way to make a really nice box for this with a sleeve that has information stuff on it. They even have a graph here for uh, the travel, and they have a diagram of the key. This is what a Topray key switch actually looks like. Feel the focus. You have the stem here, you have the rubber dome here, and then there's the spring that's underneath the rubber dome. There's your Topray switch. And there's a graph here of the travel. So that's about four. That'd be four millimeters. The ultimate typing experience. NovaTouch utilizes a patented hybrid switch system that combines the benefits of a mechanical spring-based switch and an electrocapacitive sensor to provide excellent tactility, comfort, and durability. You can read the rest of that if you want to pause it. So, what's so special about another Topre switched keyboard? There are a billion 10 keyless and even and even less than that, like uh, I think there's like 68 key or something like that uh, keyboards. There's tons of tiny keyboards. The Happy Hacking keyboard being one of them that have um, uh, Topre key switches. What makes this one so special? This one is unique in the fact that it they actually modified the stems a little bit to do something that I think is really cool, and we'll touch on that in a second once I open the box. They really took their time with the packaging because this lid here is magnetic. So they tried to give a real premium sort of packaging with this keyboard for the premium switches that it comes with. So that's a good idea. Look at that. Really, really dense foam. And there you go. There's the keyboard. Now you might be thinking, gee, this looks awful familiar. And it would if you've seen the Quickfire Rapid series of keyboards before. It's basically a similar, if not the same, layout along with uh, the same controls. Although I think the uh, these controls are different, but we'll go over that. This is my cherry green switch version of the CM Qu Storm Quickfire. I won't be keeping this keyboard for very long because this one's replacing it, actually. But if you take a look at each keyboard, they're basically the same keyboard. So they have a premium version of that. That's definitely Topray switches. So let's take the keyboard out. So just like the Quickfire Rapid, it has that soft touch rubber, which is a material I absolutely despise. But you know what? It does look nice when you first take it out of the box. The feel is actually a lot lighter than my uh, the Topre Type Heaven keyboard, which is very surprising. Yeah, it's a bit different. Here's the bottom of the keyboard, Nova Touch TKL. Has really nice feet that have uh, a rubber tip on the bottom, so it won't slide around in your desk as easily. Very nice stuff back of the keyboard has some nice soft touch rubber stylizing right there. 
So CM Storm logo. One thing that's different about this particular keyboard is it uses a micro USB port, which I thought was unusual. Uh, I would have thought they would have routed the cable on the bottom like they did with the Quickfire Rapid series. That uses a mini USB that routes through the bottom, whereas this just uses a simple cable up here. Now, some people, I think, have poo-pooed the idea of using micro USB on the back of these keyboards. Honestly, this is a better option than mini USB because mini USB is not a very durable connector by the standards of, you know, connectors on computers. Micro USB is actually much, much better at being resilient over the years. And it also has a self-latching sort of mechanism in it, which helps keep it still. Um, so this, believe it or not, is a better connector. Uh, it's a little bit more durable, although it's small enough that you can still break it if you put apply enough pressure to it. So be careful regardless. It just means the connector will last longer, basically. The bottom plate is plastic. Has some looks like Phillips had screws right there. And there's the warranty screw. So pretty typical keyboard. It's just a nice plain 10 keyless keyboard. So let's go take a look at the accessories now. Get a quick start guide. You actually get a bag of O-rings if you want to uh, modify the keyboard so that you can, uh, you know, make the travel a little bit less with these O-rings. It also makes it a bit quieter. Here's your cabling, which is very nice. Feels almost like feels almost like Romex cable from back in the day. <laughs> That's kind of nice, actually. It uses a right-angled. Um, micro USB connector which makes no sense to me I don't know why they had to right angle that especially when it comes out of this side of the keyboard that doesn't make any sense to me they also give you a keycap remover which is very nice it's a very nice touch it makes it these wire keycap removers are a lot better than the plastic ones they used to give you so this is a definite improvement and this is an excuse to tell you why this keyboard is so special most Topre switch keyboards use their own type of keycaps. It's a little bit, it's a, it's a circular type of design, but this one doesn't. This keyboard has a modified stem. So instead of just pure um, Topre keycaps, what they did is they took the top, they took the Topre stem, and they put the cross for a cherry. Uh, mount in the middle of it. So you can actually mount cherry keycaps, which is what these are, as you can see, to this Tupere keyboard. So that makes keycap modding that much easier and less expensive. So this is a really good option if you like Tupere key switches and like custom keycaps at the same time. Cooler Master had an excellent idea here. Like this, this is perfect. It's uh, it was a real it was something that you just really. It's something that nobody else did. It was just It's just a perfect idea, and that's why I decided to get this and ditch this one over here, is that uh, that idea is just beautiful. This means I can uh, have a Topre Switch keyboard and customize all the keycaps. You can, you can swap it out with a set of PBT keycaps easily. The stock ones are ABS, as usual with most of these. So that, that gives you a lot of options for, for keyboard customization that otherwise you wouldn't be able to do on a Topre keyboard. So that's a really, really good idea. Uh, so improvements over the Quickfire Rapid. I think this uh, I think the font on the keycaps looks nicer. It doesn't look quite as uh, you know overzealous as the font on this one. <laughs> that, that looks like it's trying to be like a super gamer keyboard. But this just looks like a uh, a typical keyboard, at least until you change the keycaps, if you plan to do that at all. Let's see how this micro USB connector feels. So it plugs in this way, and the cord sort of goes towards the center. That's really weird. See, that, that, that I don't understand at all. You could swap that out with any micro USB cable you wanted, but I'm really not sure why they ha they put a right angle uh, piece of plastic on the connector that was there. That's probably just so it goes more towards the center. The connector feels pretty sturdy, actually. I wouldn't, but the problem is you risk doing like that, and you could break the connector right off still. So 
having a more resilient connector doesn't mean it won't break if you apply enough weight to it, so be careful. <laughs> this is why I kind of wish they kept the design where they routed it under the keyboard like they did on this one. But this is a better port, and I'm careful with my keyboards, so that's not going to worry me that much. This feels very nice. It has 45 gram uniform um, uh, key switches on it, so none of those. Not it's not like the real it's not like the real Force keyboards where some of the keys are heavier, where you have varied weighting. This is a f just uniform weighting of 45 grams. So if you like uniform, this is good, and I tend to like uniform uh, for my keyboards. So that this will work out pretty well for me, I think. All right, I brought out my uh, ThinkPad here, and we're going to plug the keyboard into this and give it a little test. So let me bring the cable around here, and we'll plug it into this side, I guess, because the cable wants it to go that way. <laughs> this cable's a bit of a spaghetti mess. Okay. It does work. Good. So let's give this thing a test, shall we? Okay, so let's make the font, like, I don't know, 48, and type. Feels pretty good. Uh, it feels a lot lighter to type on than it does in the Topre Type Heaven, and I mentioned that before. But it's really noticeable. It seems like between uh, Topre Switch keyboards, you'll get a different experience. I actually like the feel of my Topre Type Heaven a little bit better because it's a, it has a more satisfying bump to it than uh, one of these. This is actually a little bit more subtle and a little bit more light, so it feels quite a bit different uh, in that aspect. Feels fantastic. My typing is very, very good on this. Uh, uh, I like it better than the Cherry Green Switch model, I will say that. Uh, the one thing I would change about this keyboard is possibly the way they handled the cabling of this. I really wish they had used the routing system like they did on the CM St Storm Quickfire Rapid series. But maybe, maybe they listened to customer feedback and took that away. I don't know. I think the reason they had the... Uh, the routing in the first place is because on a lot of other keyboards the USB port would break. Whereas on this keyboard, I don't think the micro USB port's going to break that easily. I mean, it'll break if you try, but it shouldn't do so that easily. Um, I like the size. It feels substantial when you hold the keyboard. It has it's a t the ten keyless design is great if you like that. Uh, the one time it has for the four function keys up here it has one times, two times, three times, four. One times, two times, four times, eight times. And that's for the speed of, um, you know when you hold down a key, it repeats a character at a certain speed? You can adjust that speed with the function key and F1 through F4. And of course, uh, for the rest of the, I should actually show you those keys right here. This is what I'm talking about, one, one X, two X, one times, two times, four times, eight times. That adjusts the the speed of uh, uh, key repeat. This adjusts key repeat speed. Of course, you have your playback buttons, which you use, of course, the function key plus any of the function keys. This here on F9 actually locks the Windows key. So if you're playing games and you don't want to knock the Windows key by accident and bring up the start menu or the start screen, depending on how you have Windows configured or what version you're using, uh, you can hit function uh, that button, function F9, and you can hit the Windows button all day, and it will do absolutely nothing. So that's very nice. That's one feature I really liked about these uh, 
these newer gaming keyboards is you can actually shut off the Windows key using firmware instead of uh, literally taking the keycap off, which is what a lot of us used to do back in the day. We just ripped the keycap right off on rubber dome keyboards, and you couldn't hit it by accident. And of course, next to that are your typical volume controls, mute, uh, minus, plus. So, typical there. You still have scroll lock. Uh, so, I kind of wish... I kind of wish there were caps lock and scroll lock lights, but you don't really need them most of the time. Uh, you can just type and figure it out, and nobody uses scroll lock anyway, so, yeah. Overall, my impression of this keyboard is very nice. Uh, I do like it better than my Cherry Green Switch model, simply because I tend to prefer Topre key switches and Buckling Spring better than any other key switch, so automatically you get it goes up higher in my book because of that. Having a Topre Switch keyboard this small that's so easily modifiable in terms of keycaps is a very, very nice thing. Cooler Master definitely had a great idea here. Uh, a 10 out of 10 on this one, I'd say. The only thing I would change is the material that the keycaps are made out of. But in order to shrink the cost of this keyboard down, they, had, they, they made the uh, keycaps ABS. But that's nothing you wouldn't see on something like the Quickfire Rapid. They also made the keycaps out of ABS on that. But in the world of Topre keys... Key in the in the world of Topre switch keyboards, typically the more expensive models have PBT keycaps. The Topre Type Heaven did not have PBT keycaps either, so it's something you're going to see with the lower cost versions. But the good news is, getting a set of PBT keycaps will be easy because you just get Cherry keycaps for this, and it will still work since they changed the stems. But they didn't change the stems so much that it doesn't affect the feel you know, in a drastic way. So that's kind of nice. So overall, I like this keyboard a lot. It types very well, as you can see. I didn't, as you can see, I, uh, that's everything I typed there. And for those of you who just wanted to hear the sound of the keys, here you go. Let me unplug that from the computer real quick. This is what the keys sound like. So, yeah, it's a pretty quiet keyboard with a nice light feel. As far as the Topre key switches go, they're my favorite light switch that you can find anywhere. And they're kind of a hybrid, anyway. Uh, if you want to hear me explain Topre switches a little bit better, take a look at my Topre Type Heaven keyboard video. Uh, that one has a much better explanation. Basically, they're a hybrid of rubber dome and a mechanical key switch. They put a spring under a rubber dome and put a stem on top of it, and there you have it. <laughs> and it, it makes, it basically what the Topre switch does is it fixes all the problems that Rubber Dome had in terms of feeling cheap. It gets rid of the, uh, it, get, it gives it a more smooth actuation. Uh, it feels a lot more crisp, I think. And it, uh, it, it just tends to feel better, and it has bounce, which is why I like the Topre key switch and the Buckling Spring key switch so much, is they have bounce. Uh, whereas cherry switches don't tend to have as much bounce, if any at all. So, it's very nice. Very, very nice. So, definitely a 10 out of 10 on this one. I absolutely love this keyboard. This is definitely a keeper. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.